Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play Sally in the Turnip Patch. <laughs> Sally in the Turnip Patch was a tune written by Benton Flippen, um, who was a fiddler from Mount Airy in North Carolina. He was a champion fiddler, seven times winner of the Galax contest in Virginia. Uh, he's said to have had large hands, uh, unusually large hands, and he would use his first and third fingers, uh, leaving out the second finger. So he would bend the third finger down or up in order to get the second or third notes, uh, which is a pretty strange thing to do. <laughs> um, you can see his version on YouTube. Um, it's a very nice version. He plays it uh, quite fast, uh, syncopated, um, and with lots and lots of drones. I first heard this played as if it was in A major. Uh, but in fact the C's are pretty well all natural, or or kind of neutral. Or I think actually bent. Like that. So starting around C natural, but just sliding up ever so slightly. Anyway, let's go through the A section. One, two, three, four. fourth finger doubling the A at the beginning and then keep your first and third finger on a lot of the time and you could double your fourth finger one two three four reminds me the B section some people use that as the A section so they start uh, on the B and then do the A. Uh, since Benton Flippen wrote it I think we have to respect his arrangement as being the most likely right one but also if you listen to the recording of Benton Flippen he does an intro well his first time he plays the first couple of bars they're different from every other time and it's not a very helpful intro. So I was teaching this to Mary Irving, who asked for this incidentally, and she was very confused by the fact that the version I gave her didn't sound like either of the versions she'd listened to. Uh, and it's because of this intro. So I've decided, I just simplified his intro. Uh, I actually suspect that um, this, what the recording we've got is cut ever so slightly from the beginning. So I think there's a little bit missing, but I could be wrong. So let's play the A and B sections with the backing.
Benton's recording, he has a, a double shave and a haircut at the end. So, um, here we go. Which I think is a pretty good one. That's the kind of ending that a lot of bluegrass players will use. Uh, I did a video all about the shave and haircut, if you're interested in where that comes from and how people do it. So, if you would like a copy of the docs for this, then do subscribe and send me an email and I'll send you a copy. If you would like to get a PDF, uh, a zip file with all of my PDFs, and there's are over 300 of them so far, then do please consider joining me on Patreon, which is how I get the support for doing all the work <laughs> that goes into these videos. Uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye for now.